Today we're going to do a little thrifting and blogging. Um, this will be my first video. First, um, I've been thrifting for quite some time now. Got many different audio products and it's going to be my first vlog. And I'm taking on the thrifting adventures of what it is out there in the thrifting world. So as you can see, today we have a Viodyne uh, subwoofer. It's an 8-inch driver. That's the CHT series. Take a look at the back right here. It's really dusty and messed up, so it needs some very good cleaning, so pop the, the cover. <clears throat> ah, doesn't look that bad. Foam looks okay. There's a little dirt rot right there, but I'm sure I my best to clean them up and see how the thing goes. And here's a slot port. It looks kind of I'm dirty, but we'll see what it can do and clean them up for a bit. Anyways, this is a Via Dynasty C series, and I'll do this and clean them up. Stay tuned. I think this got to be has to be the worst uh, speakers I can clean. I mean, look how much look at look at all these these paws. These are all roach eggs. Like literally, look at look at that. This was inside the box. Now before I clean this. I know I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to dump pretty much like everything inside. The foam has to go somebody has like coupons like what, like who does this stuff? This is the so far I bought from the thrift store, yeah? For like about nine bucks, so I was probably getting rid of it, but this thing actually works, so it's a veil line, so what I was thinking I, I could just clean it up like a heavier bit and for I'm not sure, I probably have to spray everything. Oh, there goes my mask. This mask I'd show away, but yeah. So what I'm planning to do, I'm planning to um, dump all all the foam, 100% foam. I know that's uh, it's used for sound, sound um, isolation. It makes the sound a little bit better, but the foam has to go away. And then I'm gonna have to clean up this driver like really, really thoroughly because there's 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 roach feces all over. You see all that brown, the brown mark? That's roach feces on the on the, the speaker. And if we flip this thing over, it's like it's like right there. Look look at that stuff. That is that is disgusting. Anyways, this is the the cleaning process, and then um, yep, here you go. Okay, so now we're doing a quick cleaning. Um, I took out all the star, uh, not styrofoam, but the the cotton, and this is pretty much what's left inside. So it's just an empty box, yeah, that has a bunch of pods in here. So these are, these are all roach eggs. I keep this in mind, yeah. Each thing you see is a, a bunch of roach eggs, yeah. Uh, the only thing good is, is that the amplifier was in case it's closed. I think if the amplifier is open, I think I'll, I'll toss this this, this um, subwoofer. But the only reason why I'm keeping it is like is because one, um, I don't have a Veridine, right? This is my first Veridine subwoofer. And two, um, you, you just don't see these, these Veridine subwoofers online. This is an 8 inch subwoofer. I know it's at the top of the line. It's actually like the lower end model, yeah? But this box is heavy by itself already. This is a, a really good box. Now I have to really watch out because I'm gonna use Clorox wipes. Yeah, uh, um, particle board expands. Yeah, I either particle board or MDF wood, but it expands if you get it wet. But I'm gonna try my best to do whatever I can to clean it up and try to sanitize and use up as many Clorox wipes as I can because this is this is pretty disgusting. And I was I was so close to like tossing this this stubble from the trash, but you know what? This might be a project. For all of us to uh, to endure <laughs> and to see, you know? and you know what, I'll be the one cleaning while you be the one watching. <laughs> Anyways, let's do this right now. Now we're gonna take a look at what I tried. I think I took about maybe like 75 to like 90 percent of like all the roach um, eggs. You can still see like the f you know the feces. The it's still gonna be there. Like you can't really yeah, because it's kind of stained. I mean, I'm thinking maybe I should unbolt the app and clean the underside, but I think I did a okay job. That's, oh, I forgot to take off that one right there. Oh, right there. i never seen that one. Great. I gotta take that off. I don't have my gloves on right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's not too bad. That right corner and then this corner up there looks okay. The port is really, really hard for me to clean. Like... But I tried to do my best. Is something in there? No, that's not. Looks like a marking. Yeah. And the subwoofer driver. 
Okay. This back right here. Oh. It came out actually pretty good. Oh, I mean, somewhat good. Rust, as usual. Can't really take out rust. But yeah, no more of the, the eggs over here. As you can tell. But still, there's, there's poop stains all over. Well, yeah. It is what it is, but yeah, nice driver. Again, the reason why I'm keeping this to woofer is basically because, you know, the quality of the video I used to make. Um, and plus, I got it for a pretty solid price. I mean, I, 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 again, I probably could have, or should have probably thrown away, but I just want to take my time and see how much I can clean this thing. Um, the subwoofer doesn't have any sound insulation, which is the cotton on there, but uh, I'd rather take off that thing and sacrifice a little bit of the sound difference than keeping the cotton filled with roach poop. And roach babies. Anyways, uh, that's all my video, and this is the roads roach infested subwoofer box. I don't even know what to even call it, but yeah. Anyways, have a good day, everyone. Bye bye.